three words that I would say about your speech would be, it was very intellectually stimulating. It got us thinking. You know, the, uh, <laughs> normally we all love speaking, that's why we're here, but we no, whenever we're speaking, whenever we use languages, we never think about the language itself. So you got us really thinking with your, sort of a documentary style of uh, speaking on the subject language. So it's always very interesting to listen to your speeches. I always feel your speeches are, I think, among the most informative speech right from your project one to project nine that you are right now. I think it is one of the most uh, uh, intellectually stimulating and informative speech. And with one thing that I would like to say about uh, the positives in your speech today is that the vocal variety. Normally, I feel that vocal variety is something we all evaluators have always pushed you to use. But this time, I could actually see vividly the vocal variety in your speech. So that was commendable. Like I said, that it was a very intellectual, intellectually stimulating speech, but uh, this speech requires you not to be informative, but to be persuasive. You know, and not just persuade. The end part of it is persuade with power. Do you feel you were powerful enough? You know, your stance, your logic, your intellect, your emotion. Do you think you kind of spread the waves around and made people feel that you know language is? something you to be very careful about. Language is something, you know, did you feel that waves? And did you feel that people really, I'm you know, kidding. I'm just asking, <laughs> you don't have to share. You know, that was something that I felt it was lacking because, it, because it's a capstone to all your speeches, you know, not just inform, not just uh, get to the point, not just vocal variety, not just body language, everything, it's the top tier. So you really need to, Focus on the persuasive part, and you have to bring it all together. So it's a challenge. And as far as I know you, uh, you're a very sporting person. <laughs> <laughs> I know you that you're very sporting, and uh, uh, you take it as a challenge to persuade people with power next time. 